For those of you who have trouble understanding, please allow me to put my disgust for Senator Ted Cruz into layman's terms. Layman's terms. Hey guys, Steve Spell too. I want to try to explain my disdain for Ted Cruz just a little bit differently. Maybe you can understand it this way. Americans have been poisoned by the political process. We are sick as a nation. We have been poisoned by politicians. Donald Trump has the antidote to the poison. Donald Trump wants to administer the antidote and make the nation healthy again. Ted Cruz is standing in the way and attempting to block and prevent Donald Trump from administering the antidote to the poison. So you can see why I have such a high level of disdain for Ted Cruz. We are poisoned. Donald Trump has the antidote. Ted Cruz is trying to prevent him from administering the antidote. Ted Cruz is responsible for poisoning the water well. And it is never popular to be the one that's poisoned the water well. So anyway, Ted Cruz has no shot, zero chance of securing the delegates. He will not get 1,237 delegates. He would have to win 87% of the remaining contests. It's not going to happen. The only person that has a chance of getting the delegates before the convention is Donald Trump. And we've got this, 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 this a-hole, Ted Cruz, standing in the way. If you look at Ted Cruz's record, that's all he's really ever done is stood in the way and blocked. And while it may have been a noble thing at one point in time to stand in the way of Obama's policies, there's nothing noble about trying to prevent someone from making America great again. Donald Trump is trying to make America great again, and Ted Cruz is trying to prevent that. And there is nothing more despicable under the sun than for a man to stand in the way of someone that's trying to make the country great again. Thank you for watching. I hope that you were able to understand my layman's terms.